Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly general reading. Whatever comes out, I'm just going to read it as it does come out. If this reading ends up resonating with you, make sure that you visit www.bradystarot.com to not only book a personal reading with me, but to also sign up for my free weekly newsletter. All kinds of goodies in there. Also, if this reading does not resonate with you, please make sure that you're checking for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter placements, okay, to get a full picture of what may be going on. So let's go ahead and get started. First card out we have a higher perspective i heard above everybody else okay that's a very virgo like thing <laughs> i was just playing but there could be something here where you're kind of maybe changing your perspective on something or it's like you don't see things in the way that you did for some of you guys you have been through some challenges that have given you this higher perspective because the thing is is when we lack challenges in our life we tend to still be more of a low vibrational because there hasn't been an, anything that has been uh what is the word creating that growth for you or the opportunity to grow the five of cups. Hold on. Let me see. The chariot in reverse. I heard failures, the chariot in reverse, the five of cups, the two of cups, the page of cups, the seven of wands in reverse and the six of swords. The bottom line is the creator. You may be creating from a place of pain here. There's definitely challenges that you've been through with that five of cups and that chariot in reverse tells me a lot of failures and a lot of fears that you're reminiscing on things that you didn't go after before. It's like, you're starting to realize why, or it's like, you're having a lot of regrets around that, but it is giving you a higher perspective about something. Okay. There could be a love offer here that's coming in, or it's just, you're more so deeply understanding your situation on, I heard on a visceral level. Maybe some of you are very in tune with your bodies at this time, okay? Now I'm hearing sexual healing by Marvin Gaye. All right, whatever, bye. Uh, that page of cups, seven of wands in reverse and the six of swords. There may be somebody who's coming in who's too intimidated to talk to you. And there could be a sense of you feeling that or not in, like liking that confidence or that, excuse me, not liking that lack of confidence and you like moving on. And then at the bottom, you have the creator. So there's something that you're definitely creating, creating your own fate, creating a lot of different things. Let's look at that chariot in reverse for you. The Ten of Cups. It definitely could be like a failed family situation. Could have been a failed relationship of some sort. Maybe some type of, some type of commitment or marriage, etc. Okay, so I heard for some of you, someone had a miscarriage at some point. So if that's the thing, I'm obviously sorry. I don't know why I heard that. I'm very, very sorry. Um, if that is your thing, there could have been secrets that came out about like unrequited love or about cheating specifically. And you're just like looking back on it and you're like, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I put up with that. Or, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't trust myself. Cause there could have been a sense, especially with that moon in reverse of you not trusting what it is that you felt in the first place, because there may have been a sense of your intuition telling you something. And then you just didn't want to see it. You didn't want to make a decision at all chariot in reverse because you love this person so much. And so now you're kind of like realizing like, God damn it, you know? Know, like, I can't believe I let myself be an idiot or like be a fool. And please try not to be so hard on yourselves. Okay. I know that when my heart gets involved, like I'm great. Like when it comes to my feelings, not being, being involved, I can totally detach. I cannot give up, you know, I can just be like, yeah, whatever, you know, and still have empathy for people. But it's like, once my emotions get involved, like it's a wrap, you know, and I'm a Virgo. So, you know, I, I can understand. Let me see that five of cups. The hangman, you're realizing that you have compromised and or sacrificed too much for people. And the thing is, is that the hangman is all about perspective. And then you have the higher perspective here. And those are just to me, like coinciding with this specifically. And there's a sense of you like really kind of kicking yourself in the ass a little bit, you know, like there's one thing that I'll never forget. And I'm just, I'm just going to tell you. Okay. Um, so I am very. I tend to sacrifice a lot of my relationships and I had this one relationship with me and my baby's father and we had two kids together and I was like listen my body responds really really bad to birth control like it almost made me blind it almost gave me internal bleeding I just I can't do it and he was like no 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 I'm not doing that I'm not doing that so I was like all right fine so I tried one last thing and I I tried Depo Provera and then what ended up because I was trying to sacrifice compromise that's sacrificing right hangman 
and I ended up sacrificing and it ended up causing me gallbladder disease. Now, if you know gallbladder disease, it's usually for people that can be like overweight or like, you know, have some like gallstones in there or whatever. Well, it was, I didn't have gallstones because I was like very fit at the time. And like, I was whatever eating very healthy, but it was the Depo-Provera that caused it. And they had to remove my gallbladder. It wasn't even full of gallstones, just a bunch of fluid. And the Depo-Provera caused that. And so you may be looking back at this, like me, like, damn, I can't believe like once again, I have sacrificed for another person that gas let me into falling, falling into patterns that I've done so many times before. And it's like, you're tired of it. You're tired of all these sacrifice, you, sacrifices you've made. You're tired of feeling like you're the one that is always loving the most. And you're tired of making sacrifices for people that just simply don't deserve it. So you have the two of cups here, Virgo. And Virgos, you know, y'all rule the sixth house, which is about service, you know, and opposing that is the 12th house, which is a Piscean house. And that's your polar opposite. Uh, that's your polar opposite um, sign. And it's like you both are a house of service just in a different way. And Virgos can make more sacrifices on an individual level where like Pisces can make more sacrifices on like a more collective, larger level. Can you give me one more for that two of cups? What's like going on with that? The three of wands. I just heard I'm searching for a real love. Okay. For some of you that do have love in your life, there may be like some passion that's lacking and you're like waiting for it to come back. Okay. Or there's something here that there's a relationship or a connection, even if it's a friendship. Okay. But it's kind of like draining your energy and you're just like, uh, I don't really know if I want to continue with this, or I don't really know if I want to expand this. It's like, you're just kind of over something. It's like, maybe this person has served their purpose in some way, or it's like, maybe that's just how you feel. You're just kind of like over it. You're not holding on to the same wounds anymore. It's like, you did that. You like licked your wounds. Now you have a higher perspective with this higher perspective card, including with that hangman. Hello. And so you're just kind of like, yeah, I don't really need that anymore. Like, it feels like somebody served their purpose and you're just not motivated by it anymore. And you're just moving on. So now we're going on to the page of cups. The five of wands in reverse. This feels like a peace offering from somebody. Is that page of cups, uh, Virgo reverse is no upright is yes. No. Okay. <laughs> so Virgo, this is looking hilarious. All right. So with the page of cups, king of cups in reverse and the five of wands in reverse, this is somebody that's asking you for, to forgive them. It's like, they're showing up kind of with their tail in between their legs. Like, hi, how are you? Like, can I buy you a milkshake? I, I don't know. It's like something kind of like whatever. And you're just like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Like the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse is like somebody who does not care enough to change their views on something or somebody who is like stubbornly stuck in like what it is that they believe. Like absolutely not. And I don't care about what you think about it. Like you're not stressed about it. You're st you're basically sticking to your guns with something. Cause you feel like this person is not being honest. Like you feel like they're showing up and offering you offering to buy you a milkshake. And you're like, are you going to apologize for what you did? Get out. You know what I mean? It's like seven of wands in reverse. I feel like this is this person. Woo. That higher perspective got you uh feeling some, feeling some type of way, Virg. The wheel of fortune. Is that seven? Hold on. Is that seven of wands in reverse? Is that, um, is that Virgo reverse is no upright is yes. No. That's what it is. Okay. I think that there was somebody who like intentionally tried to make you jealous Virgo. And it seems like this person's trying to come back around and be like, hey, look, I'm letting my ego down. Like, I'm being nice. And you're just like, 
I don't care, you know, wheel of fortune. It's like, I've been over it. I really don't care. And it's like intimidating this person because before they feel like they could get you in a rut. They feel like they could get you in your head about things. They feel like they could play you, trick you, make you jealous, et cetera. But you've kind of freed yourself from that. Like this person doesn't affect you anymore. Like, not like they once did, Virgo. You got the six of swords for the end game here. So this might be from like the 20th to the 24th or something down here, all right? Give me one more. Virgo, I don't really think you care about getting on the same page with a person. And it could even be like a coworker, you know, somebody who was addicted to you before. And now it's like they see you balling or they see you like doing your thing, being your high vibe self. And they're like, hi. And you're like, bye. You know, hold on. My computer is about to die. Let me just put that in there. All right. Love that. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay. Um, but it's like with that six of swords, that three of pentacles and that seven of cups in reverse. Yeah. You don't have a whole lot of hope in this. And you feel like this person just cares about like status or like, and you're like, ugh, like, I just don't care. And so you're like, I really didn't want to have to move on from you again. Or I really didn't want to have to, you know, tell you to F off. But like, I see the reality of the situation and you know, a lot of you, Virgo, have other people that are trying to be in your life that appreciate you for you that are trying to help you in some type of way. And it's like you're kind of getting a reality check about who you need to associate yourself with and who, who you need to separate yourself from. Wait, I have to write that down. Who you associate with and who you separate yourself from. Mm -hmm. So let's just take a look at this higher perspective really quick. Tell me about this higher perspective for Virgo. The Hermit in Reverse. Wow. That's your major arcana, baby. The Nine of Swords in Reverse. It's like the insecurities that you once had about yourself and about how people made you feel and make you feel made you feel like you sacrificed too much and made you feel like you weren't enough, et cetera. It's like you're starting to like realize a lot of things about you and who you are. And it's a sense of maybe for some time you like kind of took this need to like reflect and figure things out. And because of that, it's like you have a higher perspective on why things happen in the way that you did. And it's like everything kind of comes together and you're like, okay, I get why that had to happen. Tell me about the creator card here for the bottom line. Okay. Okay, so, you know, Virgo, for some of you, there's a creative process that you need to go through or that you're currently going through, okay? But you could be kind of like stuck in the past sometimes or stuck in a rut or possibly be even having creative blocks. With the creator, the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse, my, for my creative Virgos, you guys are more ready than you think to create something in your life. Maybe you're an artist, maybe you're a musician, maybe you're a writer, maybe you're a dancer, maybe you're a poet, maybe you're an actress, an actor, I don't know, whatever it is that you have going on. But the thing is, is that there may be some doubts about yourself or feeling like, oh, well, I'm not ready to, to for the world to see this or, well, I can guarantee you that the world is ready to see you. So you have to get out of your comfort zone with something and you have to stop attaching yourself to these doubts and accept your blessings as they come because that's exactly what the universe is trying to bring you with that wheel of fortune. All right, Virgo. So Virgo, it was an absolute pleasure to read your cards. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, visit www.bradystarot.com. Also make sure that you sign up for my weekly free newsletter. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to donate to the channel, make sure that you look in the description box below. And also if you'd like to follow me on my social media platforms, just look on the screen, okay? I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.